Okay, I'm back with a brief update here on my version of the Ben Eater inspired 8 bit breadboard computer project. I've had this on hold for the last uh, 7 to 10 days because I reached a point where I was all caught up with Ben's videos, so I took advantage of that time and focused on other things. Anyway, uh, today Ben posted the video where he went through and edited the Arduino code for editing the EE prompts so that we could program these more easily. Now, I had already kind of gone through and hacked my way around the Arduino code so that I could edit my EE prompts using that method because it's much better than flipping all those dip switches. But the, the uh, version of code that Ben came up with was far more elegant than what I had, so I immediately scrapped what I had <laughs> and went through and reprogrammed my EE prompts, including where I have the uh, second EE prompt tied to 5 volts down there. So uh, the fact that these are labeled 1 and 2 is irrelevant at this point, thanks to the new update that he posted. I also went through the uh, instructions, since he has it laid out so nicely, and I was able to add a jump instruction. So I now have a program loaded on here that takes advantage of that jump instruction. So basically it's just going to do 1 plus 3, output that to the display, and then plus three, output that to display, and then and then run that in an infinite loop. So we should see basically uh, four, seven, ten, thirteen, and so on and so on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that run here and see see what we uh, get on the uh, breadboard computer. So there it is. It's looking great. Got it running pretty quickly because at this point all my other problems that I had uh, talked about in previous videos have been sorted out. So I don't need to necessarily sit here and babysit each step think everything is very stable at this point. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just looking forward to the next video where uh, I'm assuming we're going to go through and add even more instructions. And other than that, I'm basically at a point now where I kind of want to go through and clean up some of my wiring. When I uh, built my ALU up here, that was done fairly early on in the process, uh, you know, relatively speaking. And I had built my ALU on other on these other breadboards that I had. And when I decided that all those breadboards were garbage, I replaced the, uh, I took all the wiring off the old breadboards and moved them to the new ones. And the part, the act of doing that, you know, taking the wires off and putting them back on, has made my ALU look kind of trashy compared to some of this other wiring, like here, which I think looks pretty neat and going out to the bus, which I think looks pretty neat. So I kind of want to redo the ALU wiring. I want to redo the RAM wiring because it looks kind of gross also. And I would really like to redo all the yellow wiring going from the instruction, uh, or rather going from the control signals over to these EE prompts because I've never been happy with this big blob down here. It looks kind of trashy. And I also want to do something about this uh, bus output that I have up here. I don't really like having that extra block up there on top but I never really, I, I'm not real comfortable with soldering all those connectors up there the way Ben did, um, only because my hands shake really, really bad. Um, I got this wood panel back here just so that I could uh, transport the breadboard computer more easily because I did finally reach a point where I wanted to have to be able to move it off my main desk here, and I found that I couldn't do that without, you know, flexing the board, so I ran to Lowe's and had him cut me this little piece of board. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at on this thing and uh, looking forward to maybe tinkering around with the EE proms a little bit to possibly see if I can figure out a couple of instructions on my own. But other than that, I'll be waiting for Ben's next video.